Okay, hello. Anybody is on the line? Okay, can you tell me? You can see me, then you can listen me or not. Okay. Hello. Okay, I see anybody can listen me or not. Lah. Okay, you can show me in the chat room. Okay, hi, Elaine. Okay, so we can start our lesson. Ah. So, um, so today I want to go is a 2.5. There's a food processing for technology. Okay, ah, so I go to adjust something first. Ah. Wait a while. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, how many is here? We got um, Elaine, Yuizhe, Guiwen, Disagan, Jiale. Oh, just less student only, yeah. Okay, so I can start my lesson. Okay, this one lesson we need to memorize lah. We need to memorize some of the process, uh, the food, how to increase the uh quality of the food. We need to do some process. When you do the process, that means you need to put some chemical things. Okay, so can I go through? Eh? Okay, so from here we can see about the food processing technology. Okay, food processing for the technology. Okay, if got any problem, you just type in the chat room uh, that I can see. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, Ganzaki. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So today, I need to go for the food processing. We see what's the objective. Okay, for the objective for the food processing. Okay, why we need to do the processing? Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, we need to make the food is last longer. That means you need to make the food got expire date, is it? Then after that, when you keep maybe one week, then still can be eat. Okay, number two, you want to make the food become safe to eat. Okay, safe to eat it. Number three, make the food is more attractive. Okay, more attractive, that means more... A customer will go to buy it. Okay, some more tastier and also easy to be digest. Okay, last one, the objective is more nutrition. So remember the four objectives, why we need to do the processing. Okay, then we continue. Okay, now we can see this part. This part is uh, talking about the sum of the different of the uh, process. Okay, we need to know the name. And also need to know the method. Okay, let's see what process we need to know. We got egg process. Okay, first one they're doing by cooking. Cooking, I think everybody know lah. Dehydration. Dehydration, that means you take out some of the water from the food. Okay, after that we got pasteurization. Normally for packing. Okay, for packing like the milk. Okay, then after that we got fermentation. Like the yogurt fermentation. Okay, this one I think everybody know that's a canning, canning food. Okay, then number six, there's a freezing. Okay, you put inside the fridge. After that, you can keep the meat for uh, two weeks or three weeks. After that, we got vacuum packaging. Okay, now this one vacuum packaging now is very famous already. Okay, so that means they uh, take out all the air, take out all the water from the food in the packaging. So that means they can stay longer time. Okay, and the last one is the irradiation. Okay, now we're going to see one by one. What method they go to use after that example food, and the last one is advantages why we need to do like that. Okay, let's see the first one. Cooking. Okay, let's see the method for cooking. I think everybody will know what's a cooking, is it? Okay, cooking first one, they're heating the food using the technique such as a branching, frying, grilling, smoking, braising, after that still frying baking and also streaming, uh, steaming. So this one is a type of the cooking. Okay, example food. Normally the food, uh, you go to restaurant or you in house, you do what? Chicken curry, fried fish, grilled chicken, rice, veggie and cakes. This all, we all using cooking. Okay, what advantages if we using the cooking? First one, easy to be digest. Lah. Normally cooking, the prepare, uh, the prepare the food must be become smaller. Okay, easy to be digest. They cook until um, the food is already uh, can eat. Okay, number two is food are safe to eat because the microorganisms have been killed. Okay, you 
through the high temperature for cooking. So make sure all the microorganisms kill. After that, you go to eat, then this one becomes safe. Okay, number three, tastier. This one tastier depends, lah, depends for yours, how you go to cook and also more attractive. More attract attractive also depends for yours how to design the uh, display of the food. Okay, so this one is the first one, cooking. Okay, you need to know the method. Okay, the example food, I think you also can give some example. Lah. So, advantages. Okay, now we go to the second method. Okay, the second method, there's a dehydration. Okay, let's see what is a dehydration. Okay, dehydration, example, the food. Lah. This one, I think you take before, is it? Okay, they keep it after they got sweet, sour, the food, something like that. They can stay for longer time. Okay, method, water is removed. Important, you remove the water through the dehydration or you say the evaporation by drying under the sun. Okay, you put under the sun, make sure all the water from the, uh, from the food, they out already. Using the flame or smoke in the oven also can. Okay, heat it. Let all the uh, all the a all the water inside the food evaporate. So after that, this one method they can keep for longer time. So example food we got salted fish. Okay, after that we got anchovies. There's a one type of the fish, dry fruit and also the dry shrimp. Okay, so dry shrimp just like the small one, the small prawn. Okay, the shrimp you go to, uh, mix together, cook together with the with the veggie one. The one can be. Uh, keep for longer time. So because there already is a dehydration. Okay, advantages. First one, sure for last longer. You can keep it for longer time. Uh, in outside, also in refrigerator, also can. Okay, after that, food are tastier and portable. Okay, because you keep for longer time. All the thing, all the salt, all the sugar you go to add already go in the food. So the food become more tastier. So this one is the second one. We go to how do the process? There's a dehydration. Okay, number three is a pasteurization. Okay, let's see the example for pasteurization. Okay, pasteurization example, the method liquid. Lah. We're using the liquid is heated to the temperature below the boiling point. Boiling point is 100. So you go to heat below the boiling point because why you want to kill the pathogen. Okay, kill the pathogen. After that, you cool quickly. After you boil it, not until boiling point. After that, you faster go and cool down. Fresh meal is heated to the temperature. Okay, you heat how many? 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Okay, if you want to heat more, there's a 72 degrees Celsius, but you make it until 15 seconds, then enough already. Okay, because too high temperature. Okay, all the nutrients, that means you're using too high temperature or the nutrient hilang already. So that's why you cannot too long. So only 15 seconds. After that, you cool immediately. You okay, need to cool down immediately. For example, the food that's a milk and also the fruit juice. So normally, you go to buy the fresh milk. Okay, fruit juice, all the thing is a pasteurization. Okay, they got put the expired date. So they got do some process already. Okay, what's the advantages? The nutrients still preserve, okay? Because they never heat it until 100 degrees Celsius. They still to keep it. So that means the nutrients still can preserve. Okay, number two, fresh meal is safe to consume because the microorganism has been scaled, okay? They still got heat. So that means the microorganism, they still got killed, okay? So this one is a process of the pasteurization. If they ask example, there's a milk and also the fruit juice. Normally in the packaging one, okay? You can find it at the supermarket. Normally they put at the cool station. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, the next one is the number four, fermentation. We see what is a fermentation. Okay, fermentation example here will show you. Okay, this one is a kimchi. Another one should be the tempeh. Okay, method. Okay, the breakdown of complex substance into the simpler substance. Complex, make it become simple through the action of bacteria, yeast, or other microorganism. Okay, using the yeast, using the bacteria, go to make it the complex uh, food, make it become simpler. Substance, okay, example here, they got tapai. Okay, tapai is normally the Malay, uh, Malay people will take one. There's a fermented rice. 
Okay, number two is a tempeh. Tempeh is all is a bean there. Okay, after that they got soy sauce. Okay, soy sauce. Every time you do uh, make the food, you put one. After that got yogurt. Okay, this one is uh, using the bacteria and also the yeast. Okay, advantages also same. The food last longer. Okay, why we do the process? Normally we need the food is last longer can be keep lah. Number two, food are more nutrition. Okay, because this one is never do anything. They just make complex become simpler. So that means all the nutrients still there. Okay, number three, they are good bacteria in the food. Okay, we're using the good bacteria in the food. They can help for digestion. Okay, help for digest. So this one is a number four, fermentation. Okay, remember you need to know the method and also the example and also advantages. So formation, we don't have to do any heating. Okay, we just threw the action of the bacteria and yeast. Okay, make the food complex become simpler. Okay, then we go to the number five. I think everybody know this one is the canning. Okay, let's see the canning method. Okay, canning the method is the food is sterilized first. Okay, and also heat until temperature is over. Already exceeding 115 degrees Celsius. Under the high pressure to kill the microorganism and their spore. Okay, remember the spore. Spore is normally more than 100. So this one they need to heating until more than 115. Okay, so this one process they must do very high temperature after the high pressure. Okay, number two, the A in the can is removed before you want to sit. Okay, you want to seal into the canning, is it? So inside it don't have any A. Okay, number three, the can is heated again before uh, being cooled quickly. So that means before you want to cool down, you want to heat again. Also same, you want to put some can or just now the pressurization you put inside the uh, the paper pack, is it? You need to heat after that quickly. You want to cool down. Okay? Then after that example for the food, we got meat, we got soup, bean, fish, fruit. After that, we got sauce and also the canned milk. Okay, this is all using the canning. Okay, so normally the food can be important, last longer, very long time. So that means you buy the uh, canning food, you can see the below, they got expired date. Okay, normally lah, it's one year. If the new products normally or one or two years, they can keep it. Okay, number two, advantage is a portable because there's a small size. You can bring here and bring there. Okay, number three, there's a microorganism and their spore are killed. You see, there's a 115, is it? 150, that means they can kill all the bacteria, all the micro microorganisms already. Okay, don't forget, if get, they can kill all microorganisms, the spore also kill, that means the nutrients might be less. Okay? Because they can keep for longer time some more. After that, the high temperatures some more. That means inside the nutrient already less and less. Okay, so from here, cheaper with the many products to be choose. Okay, if you compare the others, fresh one, lah, this one sure become cheaper lah, because all the things already keep for longer time. Okay, so this one is a canning. And also this is more easier than everybody familiar to know what is a canning process. Okay, then we go to the uh, number six. There's a freezing. Okay, freezing, I think everybody can do it. They're just in your home. There's a one of the process more easier to keep the food is more fresh. Okay, freezing is the food that are keep at the temperature from the zero degree Celsius or you say lower to the inhibit the enzyme activities and also inhibit the growth of the microorganism. Okay, we want to keep in the low temperature because we need to reduce the activity of the microorganism so that's why it reduce the microorganism activity so you can keep the food for a longer time okay, example food you can keep the seafood the meat the chicken and also the fish okay into the fridge okay advantages food is last longer number two the nutrient in the food are preserved okay you never do anything you just straightforward put inside the fridge that means the nutrients still there Okay, number three, we will not change the shape of the food. Okay, freeze already the shape like this, that means almost like this. 
They never say, oh, I keep for a longer time, become smaller already. No more. Okay, the shape will be remade. So this one is a freezing. Okay, then we go to vacuum packaging. So this one vacuum packaging now is already famous. Huh? Okay, let's see here the method for packaging. Like this, this one is a salmon fish. Okay, A is removed first completely from the container. Or you say the plastic bag. Used to pack the food so that the microorganism can be killed. Okay, remove all the A. Remove all the water. The microorganism already is out. Okay, microorganism don't have any oxygen, how to stay there. So that means the A and water out first. Okay, example for the food, we got nuts. Okay, you buy the chestnut, you buy the uh, almond, they already is a vacuum packaging. Okay, number two, rice. Okay, you buy the rice. Okay, they also now doing the do by using the vacuum packaging. Okay, and the last one is a vegetable. So like this, that means the whole food. They can stay for a longer time. Okay, no need to every time go to change it. So from here, important the process again last longer. Okay, so number two, the food structure, taste, and also the nutrient they still preserve, and three, food are portable and also easy to be kept. Okay, portable that means bring here and bring there. That's a more easier. Okay, then we go to the last part. Okay, the last part, they're using the radiation. There's an irradiation. Okay, this one, radiation, uh, normally for the uh, onions, strawberry, mulberry, uh, this all fruit. Okay, food are uh, exposed with the ionization, radiation, example for gamma ray. Okay, so normally you find it, the surface of the food, they got one of the things just like the uh, grease, like grease part, very smooth one, that means you need to to remove it so that means normally they want to wash so many times you put inside one of the water then they put some salt put some uh, soda then let it to be removed because they got radiation they're using the gamma ray important they want to kill the microorganism okay number two example food we got veggie okay we got cereal then we got fruit okay same last longer because gamma ray they can kill the microorganism okay number two the food are free from the microorganism and their spore because already using the gamma ray go to kill. So all the thing must be die ready. Lah. But for this one, you need to eat after that in your body also. That means you also need to prevent. Okay, prevent you got get the gamma ray in your body. So this one you need to wash it. Okay, but the gamma ray is not stay longer in your body because the half-life for the gamma ray is very short. Just a temporary, they want to kill the microorganism only. Okay, so you don't need to scare. Oh, I cannot eat already because of gamma ray, but still can. Okay, gamma ray is not longer to stay there. Okay, number three is the food structure, taste, and also nutrient are preserved. Okay, so important what we need to do for the um, processing. The first purpose must be stay longer. Okay, the food can be stay for longer. Number two, we want to prevent. Prevent the microorganism, is it? So after that, we also want to make sure the structure, okay, the texture and also structure must be uh, remain, don't changes, okay? And also, you must make sure the food, uh, the food, lah, uh, I don't care, there's a veggie or fruit, okay, important, there can be main, remain the nutrients, okay? This one is a processing to do it. So remember the egg. Of the processing name and also the method and also what is the advantages okay if the question asks you to give example maybe they just ask one or two only they never ask about more okay so make sure the differentiate between the processing okay so we finish for the egg processing of the technology okay now we need to see what chemical we're going to use okay processing this one is a method then when doing this one method, we got add some of the uh, chemical uh, material. We're going to see what is a chemical material. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got chemical substance they use in the food processing in their impact of the health. Okay, this one is an example. Example of the food. 
okay you every time go to buy it after that inside got so many chemical substance we're going to see what chemical substance they go to add it okay let's see the first type okay we got how many type we got eight type okay we separate by the preservative preservative that means they add already you can stay for longer we got expired date okay number two coloring okay because now coloring is very attractive okay you buy something you also choose the color okay bridge bridge that means you go to make it become uh, remove the color make it become white color okay this one called bridge okay flavoring make the it's got so many flavor got strawberry flavor chocolate flavor uh, this one they also add the chemical okay sweetener make the food become more sweeter okay then you got antioxidant antioxidant means they prevent the food oxidize so fast okay after that you got stabilizer and the last one emulsify okay emulsify that means you want to um, separate the two things is mixed together you want to separate it so you add it so example we're going to see the uh, the chemical eh? okay first one preservating to make the food last longer and reduce the food spoilage okay prevent the food spoil so that's why they want to put preservation okay coloring to add the color to the food and make the food look more attractive okay number three is a bridge to bridge unwanted uh, natural color from the food so this one you can refer your textbook the textbook will show some of the example okay normally it's a sugar lah. they make the sugar more white color Okay, favoring to improve the taste. Okay, to make the food more fragrant and also delicious. Okay, if you don't have any flavor, that means you don't like it. Okay, if I add some flavor, different flavor, banana flavor, banana chocolate, that means you become more delicious. Okay, after that, we got uh, this one, sweetener. To make the food drinks, normally it's a drinks, lah, more tasty and also sweet. Okay, if no sweet, nobody wants to drink okay so from here we got antioxidant again to slow down the oxidation of the fatty food okay and to prevent the fruit and veggie from turning brown okay normally the fruit if you don't add anything then you just let it they will oxidate oxidation okay when it just oxidation they become brown color so this one is not nice the brown color so that's why they want to do the antioxidant Okay, after that, we got stabilizer. Stabilizer to prevent the deposition of the granule in the liquid. Okay, food and also uh, liquid, also food lah. And also to be improve the structure and thicker food. Okay, make the food, don't be, after put long already, your food becomes smaller, smaller size. So they want to make sure the food still the maintain the size. So they put the chemical, they got uh, stabilizer. Okay, after that, we got emulsify emulsify to emulsify the the substance which do not mix okay when starting there's a mixtures after that you put the emulsify chemical things after that they will separate or they will always separate okay they will mix together so this one is emulsify so this all thing you also can be refer your textbook i think they will show some of the diagram okay then we go through to the next one okay the next one is impact of the excessive chemical if you take more this all chemical you see what happened okay for the human health okay we separate by three or uh, six okay preservating coloring bridging then firing sweetener and also antioxidant if you over overuse this sort of chemical substance see what happened for your body okay preservation first one we know sure is a uh, cancer okay everybody know for expired day for longer that means if you take more they will cause about a cancer okay number two allergy okay allergy for your skin okay so from here the rust and also itchy skin Okay, after that, they say the, fit, the fitter will be defected in the mother wombs. Okay, damage the liver and also kidney. So that's why they say don't take so much the preservating food. Okay, we take the fresh one, cooked one. Okay, 
exactly you buy after that you straightforward eat one don't be keep for a longer time that one got preservation normally you buy it the maggi mee they got a uh, preservation okay expired it how long two years or three years that means inside got more of the chemical substance okay number two there's a coloring coloring will cause about a cancer infertility after that the food poisoning damage the liver and also cake so that means you see the chemical food normally they will damage the liver and also kidney. Okay, then we're going to see the bridging. They will cause about the cancer and food poisoning. Okay, this one is over. Lah. We didn't say oh, every time we eat it, we're going to know. We just say over, overtake. Okay, but this one we every day also got to take one. Okay, but we don't be overtaken. Okay, how about the farring? Okay, farring that cause about the cancer. High blood pressure, okay, because you want tastier, is it? Tastier, maybe you add uh, the sweet is more or you add the salt is more. So, they will cause about the high blood pressure. Okay, heart disease. After that, the mental retardation in the children. After that, they will damage liver and kidney again. So, that means you see liver and kidney, that's related with the food. Okay, after that, we got sweetener. Cancer again, diabetes, mellitus, mellitus. So everybody knows, sweet. They will uh, make it diabetes. Okay, the disease. Okay, after that, allergy. Okay, after that, rust, itches for the skin, obesity. Okay, the, uh, the sugar, sweetener, uh, the food, they will make the body weight increase. So this one will get the obesity. Okay, again, damage the liver and kidney. So that means if the question they ask you, what's the effect if you overtake the chemical substance, which one is the safe one? Liver and kidney. Lah. Okay, and also you can say about the cancer. Lah. Which one is a sure one for every chemical substance. And the last one, antioxidant. Okay, retard the body for the growth. Okay, make your body grow becomes low. Okay, again, damage the liver and kidney. Rush after the itchy skin. Okay, so from here, the six substance here, almost the important is you damage the liver and kidney if you overtake. Okay, so from here, understand or not? Okay, hello. So I want to reply from the student. You understand what I'm talking about or not? For well, this one, uh, science, we don't have any calculation. We just got some of the uh, knowledge we need to sharing process and also the uh, the method and also the effect. Okay, okay, then we continue to see what you need to do. Eh? Okay, so now we go to today's task ready. So today the task is uh, what you need to do. You need to do the formative practice. That's a 2.5 in the page 82 from your textbook. So I need to copy the question. After that, answer it in your exercise book. Okay. So from here, understand. Uh, I drain on. Uh. So this one is your today exercise. Okay. After this, you need to key in the attendance. Okay, key in attendance and also one of the exercise already upload in the Google Classroom. Okay, they got one of the short, short quiz. Uh. Okay, make sure you do the short quiz. After do it, you need to write the name and also your score in the telegram. Okay, then after that, key in Google Form as today attendance. Okay, don't forget every time the lesson show got code. Okay, today lesson code. So from here, I want anybody very fast one, help me to type. Uh. Today the code is uh, hashtag food. F-O-O-D, capital letter. Okay, I try to type. You also type, uh, we see which one faster. The okay, hashtag, you put the hashtag first. Okay, after that, food. Capital letter for the food. Okay, then finish. That's all, uh. Then we just share. Okay, yes, thank you everyone. Okay, so you can see here, hashtag capital letter food. Okay, this one is a today code for the Google form. Okay, so hopefully student, you can do it. Uh, do the short quiz. 
Then let me know what is your marks. Okay. So I will lesson just until here only. Okay, let me do change the slide. Ah, alama, I cannot move ready. Okay, wait. Okay, thank you, Elaine. So our lesson just until here. So thank you, everybody. So thank you, thank you, Tess, ah, Jala. Okay, thank you. The scene. Okay, so you can start your work already. He in the uh, go to GC ah uh, to download. Okay, thank you, Long Yichen. Okay, bye, bye. Thank you.